What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video it's all about Android 12. I'm gonna be showing you the latest Air OS based on Android 12 and this is the 24th October 2021 build. Yes, I have been on this particular build for about 3 to 4 days now almost I would say and yes, I have been waiting for an update but the 24th October 2021 was the last build and today it's 27th October and today I have not received any update yet. If you scroll down the GFs build, it's still 24th October 2021. And here, let me actually show you the 120Hz and stuff. Everything is working flawlessly. No issues whatsoever in this test UFO website. You can monitor what's your screen refresh rate. And as you can see right now, it's 120Hz. So that is perfectly working fine. No problems at all. Well, the stock launcher I did not like because it did not have the double tap to sleep. That's why I went with the launcher launcher and on this particular launcher launcher everything is almost working great except some this is the beta one so that's why there is no like google news feed over here or the google now feed because this is the beta one but if you go with the play store version of the launcher launcher let me actually show you this one if you are going with this one you need to install the launcher lawn feed or something then you can get the google feed and also the double tap to sleep will work there great let me actually show you as you can see the double tap to sleep is working perfectly fine and even double tap to wake here works perfectly great and we have the android 12's big kind of clock and the wallpaper i'm using from the wallp app and as you can see whenever you're tapping on the lock screen the clock just jumps around there is a google home controls if you want to control your like smart devices in your home and as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is great over here it also does this particular animation if you are noticing and of course you don't have to wake the screen up you can just tap the fingerprint scanner and that will unlock too and yeah the fingerprint scanner speed is pretty fast i would say in my opinion i have had no issues whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner but one thing that i do not like over here even when you have the white theme enabled or if you have disabled the dark theme the quick setting panel still stays black over here unlike the project radiant rom on the k20 pro there in android 12 this quick setting panel turns white the background of this turns white whenever you are in the white theme so that is a really great thing of the project radiant rom but as of right now on this particular ROS, this is very stock android ish that's why there is no kind of modification over here i would say and yes i am using this internet toggle and stuff there you get the wi-fi your mobile data and stuff and you can also enable the airplane mode from right here so all these things are there and of course the android 12 clock widgets are working perfectly fine and they look literally beautiful and on this like launcher launcher also it is working perfectly fine and by default you get this quick step launcher over here which is great but again there is no double tap to sleep over there anywhere in the home screen so that's why i'm using the launcher launcher by the way let me actually show you by changing the launcher this is the play store version of the launcher launcher and here as you can see to the left side of the home screen you get the google's discover page and you get the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen all these things are working perfectly great no issues whatsoever as you can see even the widgets like the subscriber account widget and stuff everything is working great here if you're noticing up close let me actually show you the difference this is the play store version of the launcher launcher and with this as you can see no stretchiness but yes it does go a little more towards the left with the animation and let me actually show you with the newer or okay so i went with the other one so this is the newer version of the launcher launcher and with this you get this kind of stretchiness let me actually show you so yeah this is how the stretchiness looks so this is actually the latest android 12 supported launcher launcher this is the beta one i'll link it below in the description do not worry and if you don't know how to flash this particular arrow is on your device let me tell you how i flashed it i was on the msm extended rom so from there i formatted the data simply with tdwp recovery after that i rebooted the recovery once and then i flashed the latest firmware of like the miui 12.5.8 or something indian miui firmware vendor then I flashed this arrow OS and I just straight up rebooted. The GApps version I have flashed over here, that's why I did not need to flash any separate GApps and that worked perfectly fine. And here you can see the change logs if you want to read them out. And this is how the about section looks like of this arrow OS. And here it has this Android version written right there. And we have the arrow OS logo up top. And if you keep tapping on this Android version, you will get this clock. And if you make this 12 o'clock, then you get the Android 12's Easter egg. And this looks pretty much beautiful, I would say. Let me just go back and we have the security patch as latest of October 5th, 2021. So that is great. The stock kernel here is the perf G kernel and we have the build number right there. In the system panel, this is where you get all the device specific options. Let me show you. We have the high refresh rate option and it is chosen into this 120 Hertz, 120 Hertz by default, I guess. 
and we have the descending option over here that is great so if you want someone who does not like screen flickering at all you can enable the descending and it is actually working perfectly fine even with night light with lower brightness the descending actually works and the mi audio dirac is also present this is how it looks like and we have these sound enhancer presets and i have been using it with the youth edition the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well here is great and also we have these kind of sound presets and we have the hi-fi audio enabling option let me tell you the speaker quality is great over here no issues i have had but only one thing about the sound i am not liking over here is that the bluetooth icon if you're noticing right now it's connected to a bluetooth headset but it does not show you the battery status of the bluetooth also there is no volte icon or something but volte is actually working fine which i'll show you later on but let me show you as you can see right now if you want to see the bluetooth battery you have to actually go into the your quick setting panel then only you can see that and let me show you for this bluetooth device as you can see there is the aptex hd audio and stuff everything is working fine so using a bluetooth headset with this particular rom was no issues for calls or something talking about calling let me talk about the video calling a little bit because with the whatsapp video calls and stuff you might be getting a halo effect on your front camera on the redmi note 10 pro because the front camera is so small on the screen and there is a little bit of black border but whenever you are into a video call there will be a lot bigger of the black border so yeah that thing is there there is an increasing black border whenever you are using the front camera and that actually works perfectly fine again in the system panel we have a system updater from here you can check for updates i don't know when there will be a newer update but as of right now there is no new update after the 24th october 2021 and in the gestures we have these kind of things like the quickly open camera is there also we have the system navigation gestures and if you want to go into the settings this is how it looks like of course swiping from the corners gets you to the google assistant also you can say okay google as you can see that brings up google assistant let me try one more time hey google and once you are using as you can see there is a green dot so right now let me show you if i click on that which app is actually using the microphone it will show up right there so that is just great and let me actually show you some more things like the camera that i have installed this is the stock camera which is present by default i forgot to mention this is the older kind of google camera i don't really like it this is very basic looking google camera that's why i have installed this gcam 7.3 by yonix version 2.5 and this has been working perfectly great and i am using this with this particular config as you can see easy full meet and pro and with this config the camera has been working perfectly fine even the front camera let me show you is working great no issues whatsoever so yeah if you are someone who are gonna use uh, google camera on this i would recommend this particular google camera and i'll also link it below the night sight and stuff everything is working fine the 0.66x actually goes into macro lens for some reason but yeah they are perfectly working fine if you are using them as you can see there is a ultra wide lens and on that id4 option you will get that ultra wide lens so yeah this is a little bit tricky i would say the 2x is just the monochrome sensor so yeah this is working perfectly fine and once you are using the camera let me actually show you if you click on this as you can see being used by the camera app it shows right there so that simply means whenever something is getting access on your camera or your microphone you can simply see that which app is actually taking the access so that is just great for android 12 except for that if you want to add these widgets let me actually show you. you click on the widgets and from there clocks from this clock widgets and as you can see whenever you are adding them let me actually show you whenever you are adding this one and right now if i add it just over here as you can see it will prompt you with these kind of options which clock you want to add so that is just amazing and i have been using these two clocks as you can see this is one type and this is the other type looks beautiful in my opinion all the clocks are just looking great the default clock widgets are looking so great in android 12 pretty much and here we also have this google calculator app and that is working perfectly fine as you can see so yeah and yeah it has this kind of animation whenever you are tapping on some numbers it looks beautiful also let me actually lock the device so that i can show you the pin entering section and here as well the font of this and the buttons look very very cool in my personal opinion so i was in this gesture so let me just go back from here also there is a three button navigation if you want to use that and 100 mode is there if you want to use that also that is working perfectly fine let me go back we have the press and hold power button for assistant and the prevent ringing option but there is no three finger screenshot gesture as of right now which i am really really missing and here 
we do not get any like double tap to sleep on the status bar or something you have to enable the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen by a launcher or something and here as you can see the heads up notification keeps appearing so that's how it is and you can take a screenshot from right here if you want to and if you want to clear all the apps you can go all the way to the left and clear all the apps from right here but again while taking a screenshot it always makes a sound as you can see if you just heard that so yeah it always makes a sound with the speakers whenever you're taking a screenshot no matter even if you're in silent mode by the way this is how the volume panel looks like and you can put your phone vibrate or silent from right here or in general mode from here you can increase or decrease the volume like this and as you can see this is how the sound panel looks like and we have the gboard as the default keyboard over here i guess as you are noticing in the security settings we only have the fingerprint option and the fingerprints are working perfectly fine i have added two fingerprints both are working great in the settings we have the lock screen timeout and stuff and the power button instant locks option no face unlock as of right now this is a very early stage kind of custom rom but yet this is official ROS based on android 12 and we do have this wallpapers and styles but there we don't have the monet engine or the monet theme engine kind of stuff yet but of course you can change the wallpapers if you want to from right here as you can see this is the default wallpaper let me actually go back in the display settings we have the brightness level the adaptive or auto brightness and from the lock screen you can enable the always on display if you want to and right now if i lock as you can see we have the big clock but i will not recommend using the always on display as of right now because there is no burn in protection and yes i had this always on display turned on whenever i was using the device at the first time but there i just unlocked the device and somehow i may have noticed a little bit of like the clock's halo effect in the screen for some time so yeah there could be burn in issues if you are using the always on display for longer period of time not really sure when they will implement the burn in protection and stuff but yes as of right now there is no burn in protection that's why i will not recommend using the always on display all the time and yes it does these kind of animations and of course they look beautiful whenever you are unlocking the device and of course while charging also you get the animation so that looks beautiful talking about charging yes fast charging also working perfectly fine here no issues you also have the wake screen for notification stuff let me go back we have the dark theme and here let me actually show you by enabling the dark theme there is no pitch black option but i think it is a little bit grayish i would say in my frank opinion but yeah that's how it is we have the font size the display size and the nightlight option and the colors are set to boosted by default and the double tap to wake again is there and the screen rotation and stuff is there let me go back into the battery settings and this is how it looks like we have the battery percentage right here yes i enabled the battery percentage that's why it is enabled on the status bar and the battery manager battery server is there if you want to see the full battery usage you just click on that and you get this kind of battery usage and let me tell you one thing that while i have been using the device i have seen the battery like usage kind of goes away as you can see right now it shows here as the battery usage but i'm pretty sure i did not charge the device in the meantime and as you can see i got about three hours of screen on time and here is a screenshot for getting an idea how much the battery life will be and in my frank opinion the battery life should be about seven plus hours of screen on time over here at least with my kind of usage i have been getting really great battery life no issues whatsoever that i have had and yes i was not worried at all that my charge will go away or something no huge battery drains and yes i was not using the device with the always on display but even with the always on display i think the battery life should be great let me go back we have the big battery bar right here and shows this big font of the battery percentage so you can get an idea how much is the battery percentage so that's great but again as of right now if you're expecting the battery temperature to show up over here or the battery charge cycles so those things are simply missing from here and in the app section this is how it looks like of course you can change your default apps from right here and let me show you some more things now the dlm info well if you are worried about that you shouldn't because it is l1 right out of the box so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p on this particular rom also safety net passes right out of the box so that is great that banking apps are working perfectly fine here and if you are worried about the ir blaster of the device let me actually show you up close yes the ir blaster is actually working perfectly fine no issues whatsoever that i have faced with the ir blaster if you want to place a call let me show you this is how the dialer actually looks like and yes it does have a call recording option but i'm not really sure if that will work perfectly all the time but yes there is the google's like call recording option with this google dialer and volte calling again is working perfectly fine but no volte icon on the status bar and in google photos you get this kind of backup and sync option and here if you want to see the upload or size as you can see i have been using it with the 
free express backup and that is working perfectly fine here but you can also go with the storage server or the original quality if you want to but yes i don't think you get the unlimited google photos backup over here so what do i think about this android 12 build of arrow os on this particular redmi note 10 pro well i have been daily driving on this for about three to four days now and yes i have been having really great experience with this particular rom but some of the things i do miss coming to this rom from the Project Radiant that the quick setting panel is not that bright because the background still stays black whenever you are in the white theme as well is a bummer. Also this ROM as of right now has no customizations at all, even no three finger screenshot gesture or something like that. No double tap to sleep on the status bar, no brightness control by just doing this. You have to just go into the quick setting panel and just brightness with this slider. So yeah, this is how it is as of right now, but it is working perfectly fine as a Android 12 ROM. It is on very early stage, but it is definitely perfectly stable here. At least that's what I think with my usage experience. If you want to see the benchmarks on this particular ROM, here are the Android and Geekbench score with a CPU stress test. So yeah, if you're someone who really wants to really drive a Android 12 ROM, which is perfectly stable for the Redmi Note 10 Pro, this is one hell of an offering in my frank opinion, because this is official ROS. And official ROS has always been my favorite, but yes, no ANX camera or something, do not expect those as of right now. But yes, I have been using this Google camera and stuff. This is taking good pictures in my opinion. And in terms of performance, I have been having no issues. I have been watching videos at full resolution most of the time in like 1440p even and even while fast forwarding them I have been noticing no issues as you can see it is playing back pretty fast and you can make the device full screen and this is how they look and once you are in a full screen video as you can see this is how the quick setting panel actually looks it looks a lot more like spacier as you can see the toggles are a lot more bigger and they look really beautiful and definitely if you are looking at the quick setting panel it has everything like the edit button the power button the settings and if you want to edit and add more toggles you can definitely do that from right here there are plenty of toggles and these are the toggles that i have added also it has the screen recorder and stuff with that you can record the device audio microphone audio everything also if you want to see the night light working in action and as you can see the night light is actually working fine you can even change it into the dark theme and stuff and as you can see even with lower brightness it is actually working fine if you are noticing so with night light turned on let me show you in white theme i think you can see it with lower brightness with very low brightness actually it is like here so yeah with very low brightness with 120 hertz de streaming and night light everything is working fine on the display no issues whatsoever that I have faced I will definitely be waiting for the next update on this particular ROM and I'll give you my impressions on that too. So do subscribe to the channel if you want to see those in the future and please do share this video with your friends if they want to know about the future upcoming Android 12 ROMs for the Redmi Note 10 Pro or any other such devices. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. This is Sito from KDNX signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.